Now, this is Essentials with Martin, and today we are going to be doing brioche three ways. So for the first recipe, we are going to be making an open face sandwich with some ham and a homemade hollandaise sauce. Start your hollandaise by mixing together your three egg yolks and lemon juice and some Dijon mustard. Mix it all together until it's a bit thin and then season it with some salt. So that your bowl won't move while you're mixing your hollandaise sauce, just make a ring using a towel. Place your bowl on top of that ring and in a steady stream, slowly pour your clarified butter or oil while continuously mixing. That's what you call mechanical emulsification. You're turning it into like this type of mayonnaise thing spread, right? So once that's done, you can season it with some more salt and pepper. You can, you can add paprika, cayenne pepper, whatever you want. Set that aside. We are gonna toast our bread and some melted butter. Next up, we are gonna make our eggs sunny side up style. You can turn it into poached or scrambled, but for this recipe, I feel like it's better sunny side up because you get that crisp edges and that runny yolk, which is just oh so good. After that, take out your egg or set it aside and reheat your smoked ham or you can just serve it as is. Now it's time to assemble. On one slice of bread, spread about a tablespoon or two of your hollandaise sauce. Top it with some romaine lettuce for the crunch, followed by the smoked ham, and then the eggs. You can choose to add more dressing any time of your assembly. You can do it like while you add your smoked ham, after you add your eggs, or you can serve it on the side. The point is just you're making a tower, like a so open-faced sandwich. So my suggestion when tasting uh, plates or plated desserts or even plated anything is to look at all the components because most of the time, the best way to taste it is to have every single part of the plate. Mm. Now, if I was working from home, I ako nito. My God, one step closer to forever. Next! We're done. Right, so for our next recipe, we are going to be making like a Japanese-style Spam and Egg Sando or Sandwich. Right, for the first thing, of course, is to toast two slices of our bread and melted butter. Set that aside and then we are going to be making our creamy scrambled eggs without any cream or milk. All you have to do is, in a cold pan, add your oil or butter and followed by, by your egg yolks. Turn on your heat and keep on mixing until starts to cook. From there, just turn your heat to low. If you want it to be chunky, leave it alone for like one to five seconds and then start mixing it again. And then turn off your heat. The residual heat will cook the rest of your eggs. Now set that aside in a pan. Heat up your Spam with or without oil. You can actually reheat it without oil. Just start slow and then flip when both sides are beautifully brown in color. To assemble the sandwich, two sides of bread, Spread some hollandaise on both and then add your curly lettuce. You can also use romaine, but I feel like curly lettuce is the best for this recipe. Add in two slices of salad tomatoes. The bigger ones are called salad tomatoes and the native tomatoes are the common tomatoes that we see in markets, groceries, or wet markets too. Follow that with your two slices of Spam your scrambled eggs, and the remaining side of the bread. You may cover it with some parchment paper or wax paper if you have to compress it, slice it in half, and you will just see the beautiful layers of your egg, lettuce, tomato, spam, and scrambled eggs. Mmm. Baka biased lang ako because I really love brioche. But man, that sweetness, it works so well with the spam. The egg does it wonders. Just biglang merong refreshing hit of that salad tomato and that crunch of lettuce. Ako na siya, package deal. Tipo ko niya rin nabobor na yung partner mo. Pagkagat niya yan, biglang, ah, emotional roller coaster. It's really good. 
dahil sa warrior is a child, hindi na makatrabaho. For the third and last recipe, we are gonna be doing something sweet. It's the brioche bread and butter pudding. Start off by melting some sugar in a pan, until uh, heat it up until it's amber in color, and add it to the bottom of your 8 by 2.5 loaf pan. Or if you have like a 6x6 pan, that's fine too. Then set it aside to cool. Make your soaking liquid by combining 3 eggs, 1 can of condensed milk, and a cup of fresh milk. Mix together. You may add cinnamon and nutmeg if you want. If you don't like any of those two, you may omit it completely. Mix it and set it aside. Now you may cut your bread into small cubes or larger cubes. The only difference is the waiting time. So for the smaller cubes, it'll take just around five minutes of soaking, but for the bigger ones, like an inch big, it might take you 15 to 20 minutes of soaking. So put it in your pan, bake it in a preheated oven at 325 degrees for 15 to 18 minutes using bain-marie. If you have a steam function for your oven, then good. But if not, all you have to do is place your loaf in a pan filled with at least an inch of hot water. Perfect for coffee.